57 of our communication is body language. 38 of our communication is facial expression and tone of words. And 7 <coughs> percentage of our communication only verbal. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster youngest. In 1971, Albert Magrebian came to this river and he said that for any face to face communication, we have three things words, tone of the voice, and body language. All of the three elements are supporting each other to have efficient and meaningful communication. And also, he said that as a human being, if the words disagree with the body language, we think we need the body language. Let me give you an example. If I told you, Ali, I love you. I love you so much. Will you believe me? I love you. I still not. So, also, the interlink between the body language and the spoken language will make the message that you want to say more meaningful. Today, I will show you in a practical way how the body language will make your communication more efficient and more meaningful <coughs> by narrating one story from our Arabic heritage. Once upon a time, there was a man walking down in the jungle and while he was walking, he heard some voice coming from the back. He looked after him and he sees a lion behind him. And the, 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 the man starts running and the lion running behind him. He came to the well and he jumped to the well and while falling he managed to hold the rope and he breathed a sign of relief. And then he looked behind him and he saw a huge snake with mouth opening waiting him to fall. And suddenly he saw two mice, a black mouse and a white mouse sitting upon the top, the top of the rope and building the rope. Toastmaster, now I will, see, I will tell you the same story but uh, using body language and you will see how the body language will make the story more efficient and give the speech better or large impact with positive words. Once upon a time, there was a man walking down in the jungle and while he was walking, he felt some, some movement uh, on the back of him. He looked behind him and he see a lion running on him and he started running and the lion running behind him and then he came to the well and he jumped to the well and while he was jumping, he managed to... to... to what? <laughs> He managed to hold the rope and he breathed the sign of relief. And he looked behind him or under him. And he see a big snake with opening mouth waiting him to fall. <laughs> and suddenly he saw two mice, a white mouse and a black mouse, sat up upon the, the rope, at the top of the rope, and start nibbling the rope. The lion is up and the snake is down and the two mouse has started nibbling the rope and in front of him he saw a honeycomb he stuck his finger on the honey and he placed it to his tongue and momentarily the sweetness of the honey make him forget the lion and the snake and even the two mice what is the idea of this Arabic story? that the life is too short and we don't never, we shouldn't, uh, we should never waste our time. So the lion was like death that will be behind everyone and the snake was like the grave that everyone will face and the rope was like his life and the two mice, the black mouse denotes to the night and white mouse denotes to the day and the day and night nibbling his life every moment. And the honey was his wasting time that he thought
if it makes him happy, but this is fake. Now, which, which style was better? Narrating the story with body language or without body language? Body language. Thank you for all. Over to you. <laughs>